So the first thing we want to do is just start out with a general foam roller, okay? So how I do this is I'll put one foot up on top of the roller, I'll put my other leg up on top to load down a little bit more weight on top of that tissue that I'm trying to get at. And what I'm gonna do is I can just keep my butt on the floor or I can be here, doesn't matter. I can roll all the way up, almost behind the knee, not all the way, and then I'm gonna roll all the way down to the Achilles. Um, and I'm gonna work both sides. So I'm gonna roll my leg back and forth. And what I'm looking for are any trigger points. Get that out of the way so you can see it. Any trigger points. And I, I got like a little knot right there. So I'm just gonna kinda go back and forth, back and forth, and work it out. Now there's no real technique that works best. You just gotta work that thing around almost like a massage therapist would um, and basically break up that density of that muscle tissue. Once I broke that up, and, and, and a little series that I do a lot is, uh, like I said, I load it, and then with this foot, I point, I pull, I do a full circle one way, maybe five, and then a full circle the other way. Um, and if it hurts a lot, you can just do a single leg, and like I said, point, pull, circle, circle the other way. Um, and that should break up some of that tight calf tissue that you have down in the, down in the calf. Um, so that one's always kind of like a, a staple. But for those of you who are missing some range of motion at the big toe and some flexibility in the foot, now remember the foot needs to be stable. And we got some exercises for that. But I would start out with like a tennis ball, lacrosse ball, or excuse me, a golf ball is a little bit harder. Um, some people like them, some people don't. Or I just think the friendly lacrosse ball is kind of like the best of both worlds. And it doesn't go flying all over the place. So what I'll do is I'll just go searching and roll back and forth, back and forth, until I find a tight spot. And I'll stay right on that. I got some type of trigger point right there. I'm going to work out that tissue just a little bit. Break it up just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that up with a series of arch, foot arch stretches, and some big toe stretches. And there's really no right or wrong. It's just try and get full range of motion in that stretch. Just kind of go through there. Maybe do some drills where you're up on your toes, coming into that. Really, you just want to explore where you're stiff and and break that up. And then with the calf stretching, you just find something to stable, stabilize yourself and just a calf stretch here. Now keep in mind, when my knee is locked out and straight and I'm stretching, whether I'm stretching here or I'm stretching, let's say this is a wall and I got my foot up against the wall or something and I, I still got the knee nice and straight when the leg is straight, you're going to feel that stretch primarily up in the top part of this gastroc nemius, the upper calf. When you bend the knee, you're going to feel it down here a little bit lower in the soleus area or the lower calf. So to give you an example, is this right here is going to be a stretch for up top. And as soon as I bend my knee, I'm going to find that stretch down there. So be between doing some tennis ball, lacrosse ball, work on my feet, following it up with some calf foam rolling. That kind of just sets my lower body um, for, I think, really just the best uh, position, kind of, we'll call it movement prep. I'm prepping my body before I go and lift weights or do something fast or you know, agile or, you know, where I need that mobility. Um, so th this is a great practice to get yourself into before any weightlifting, athletic competition, stuff like that. And the more you do it, the less you actually need to do with it. Um, I'm mobile enough now that for so many years that I've been doing this that I kind of know when I'm stiffening up. And I, now I, it's just about maintaining the flexibility and mobility inside those. So I, I can start to tell when I'm a little bit stiff, and it's always good to just go back and, and get in a good habit of, of foam rolling 
and just kind of checking out, like I got another knot right here I should probably spend some time on. Um, but it's always a good way, like you would bring your car into the, into the shop and they would do a diagnostic on the entire car. Um, they're gonna be able to tell you, hey, did you know that this was loose or that was off or this is whatever? And unless you're bringing your, your car into the shop, so to speak, um, you're not gonna know these things. And that's where injuries happen. That's where those, you know, like, why is my calf hurt? Or where's my knee hurt? Your knee might be hurting because you're so stiff in some of these tissues that um, you know your your body's not able to go into those ranges of motion, so it tightens up, pulls on some things, pulls a joint out of alignment, and there you go with your pain. And if you chronically live in that, if you chronically live in tightness um, in this lower extremity, you're you're probably one to have a little bit of knee pain, and you're wondering why is my knee hurt? Check mobility. Um, here is a rule of thumb. One of your hand lengths, just, just something like this. I'm just going from here to here. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to place my foot right up to it. Okay? I want to be able to have my knee touch this. And I'm going to do it both kneeling, no problem, but then I want to be able to do it standing. 